Hi, I'm here with Dr. Fiona McLaughlin from Avacta Zyma Communications. Fiona, how are you today? I'm very well, thank you. Thank you. Could you please introduce yourself and tell us a little bit more about the company? Sure. So my name is Fiona McLaughlin. I'm the Chief Scientific Officer for Avacta. Um, we're based in London, in the UK, um, and our focus is oncology drug development. And we work on a number of assets from very early stage research right through into phase one clinical trials. Thank you. So how does Avacta bring value into the biospace? So Avacta works in an area called the tumour microenvironment. Um, and that's a very hot area in oncology right now. People really realising that just targeting the tumour cell in itself is not enough mm -hmm. to result in tumour shrinkage. And so our real area of focus right now is looking at the tumour and what we call the tumour microenvironment. So that's all the cells that surround the tumour. In actual fact, in late stage tumours such as pancreatic, that can make up about 90% of the tumour mass. And that's our area of focus. So it's really trying to bring innovative therapies through to patients. That's amazing, thank you. And have you launched anything new lately? So we don't uh, we don't launch products in our therapeutics mm -hmm. division. Actually, in our diagnostics division, we do. That's a separate part of the organisation. Um, I'm not representing them here today, but that's actually an area where we are working on marketed products. In the therapeutics division, it's more about platform technologies. Okay. So we do we do launch novel um, novel targets, for example, mm -hmm. that we're trying to bring to market, but they're obviously some some way off being being marketed. Of course. Thank you. And what does the future look like for Avacta? So the future is actually very bright. Um, we've been we've been rebuilding the company. We've recruited a number of new staff. We've relocated to okay. London from from Cambridge, and um, we're listed on the London Stock Exchange on AIM. Um, and it's a really exciting time because the molecule we have in phase one, we call their Pathfinder, mm -hmm. and that actually demonstrates that our platform technology works, and that these molecules will result in safer chemotherapy for patients. So the next twelve months for Avacta is a really exciting time. Amazing. What made you choose to move from Cambridge to London? A, a number of factors. Um, where we were in Cambridge was actually on a science park. Right. And actually one of the reasons you want to be in Cambridge is because you, you network mm -hmm. and you communicate. And we started to look around at alternative spaces. Cambridge is full. Mm -hmm. It's been full for some time. Okay. And we started to look at London. London's really become a centre for biotech. So we're based in White City. Um, West London, so we've got fantastic links for Heathrow, mm -hmm. um, for travelling here uh, globally, and, and really good networking opportunities in that space. Thank you. And lastly, why are you here at Bio? So actually I'm here as the Chief Scientific Officer um, to, to talk to people about our platform because the fact has been, you know, it's been quite a small company. Mm -hmm. um, it's not necessarily known in, in the US and on the global field. Um, I came to Bio Europe in, in spring and really coming here is, is the best place to be to network, to start to talk to pharma companies, mm -hmm. to start to talk to biotechs about our platforms, to figure out ways we can collaborate with companies that might not we might not have been on their radar. Mm -hmm. So it's really an incredibly important networking venue. Well, I hope it's successful for you here at Bio and thank you very much for speaking to us. Thank you.